Hello and welcome to Walking with Jesus for yet another day. Today we're going to be looking at um, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 10, beginning at verses 38 and going through 42. It's interesting that I would come to this and that I would talk about it today. Uh, while this is for Monday, I am actually recording it after a work day on Saturday. And <laughs> It's really important for us to realize that while the work is vital and important, and I am so grateful for every one of the people who came and served so hard um, to work on the church today, that there's a better thing. There's, there's a greater thing than simply serving and working. And so... Let's look at this. It is from, again, as I said, Luke 10, 38 to 42. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving and she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Now, it is really important that we don't condemn Martha too hard. It's really important that we understand that she was doing what she was supposed to do. As the hostess welcoming people into her home to provide for them, to make sure that they had what they needed, um, if there were no servants in the house to wash the feet of the people as they entered, if they, uh, you know, to fix the meal and get it ready, to, to be a good hostess was a lot of work. And Martha was doing a good job doing it, but it was keeping her from being able to spend time with Jesus. And Martha, let's let's be honest about this. She had a real reason to be annoyed <laughs> because Mary is supposed to be helping her, but Mary instead is in sitting at the Lord's feet. She didn't even belong there, according to uh, tradition and culture of that day and age. Mary shouldn't even be in the room, but instead there she is seated at the Lord's feet, listening to his teaching. And, you know, so Martha comes in and she complains. And in this, Jesus then says to her that Mary has chosen the good portion or the better portion, which will not be taken away from her. And so here's, here's what I just want you to remember. Serving the Lord is really important. Serving Jesus is hugely important. We need servants in the kingdom of God, people who will serve other people, who will, who will put others' needs ahead of their own and strive to meet them. That is a tremendous gift. And, you know, honestly, I think that in our day and age, probably... There are more people who miss the importance of serving than there are people who just spend time seated at the master's feet. Because what we do is we focus on ourselves and do our own things. So here's the better thing. But one thing is necessary. What's the one thing that's necessary? A relationship with Jesus and listening to him. Paying attention to him, sitting at his feet, and being accountable to him, being willing to learn from Jesus and then obey Jesus and, and do the things that Jesus has called for. Jesus is not going to commend Mary for sitting there listening if she doesn't put it into action. So I, while I, I get this and while it's really important 
that we realize the necessity of sitting at the feet of Jesus and that that is more important. Making sure we're taking time to listening, listen to him is more important than running around being anxious about many things. But make sure you don't overread this and overthink this. Because service is vital and important, even more vital and even more important is making sure that we're listening to Jesus, that we're sitting at his feet, and that our service then flows out of that. So I don't know if I helped you or not today, but I just want you to kind of maintain a balance here as you read this. Don't, don't think that Martha was terrible and that Mary was just an angel. Mary was doing the better thing at that moment because she was focused on Jesus. And we need to stay focused on Jesus as we serve those around us. So, as you walk with Jesus today, stay connected to him, listen to him, sit at his feet, and then go serve others. God bless you as you go.